how to do check-ins on the iPhone app and the iPad app as an admin. So as soon as you've created lists, which I covered in a different video, what you wanna do is you wanna click on that list. So we're gonna go into art class August 29th. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click onto that list on the iPhone and on the iPad, and then what will happen is that it will ask us for location, so it can keep track of the locations of where the, where the check-ins take place. And literally in order to do a check-in, what we do is we like literally will go through the names here of the people that we've added. So for example, like if you wanna add some people into the list, you can click on this and you can find the names right here of all the people that are in your profile database. For example, if I, if I wanna add Sophia here, I can click on that and Sophia's name is gonna show up. Since it's already there once, it's gonna show up twice now because we've added Sophia twice. And we can go ahead and click on the name to do the check-in and then it will automatically move to the bottom or we can hit this green check-in button. Easy as that, like this will record the timestamp of when the check-in was done and we can look at the same stuff that we can look at on the dashboard, like the notes, so the profile, as well as when the check-in took place, when the, like the check-in, check-out notes as well. We can look at, we can edit those as well. We can look at the location of where the check-in took place and a bunch of other details that are, you know, that are, that are associated with the check-in. And then on the iPhone app, it's like it's the same thing. You just don't have that green button. And then you click on it and you can see all that. You can also click on the view right here that says checked in. And then you can only look at people who are checked in or look at people who are not checked in. And then you can leave the notes, check in notes here on the iPhone app as well, which is also pretty useful. And if you want to add someone's name in on the spot, for example, that, that name doesn't exist on your profile's database, you can always hit this button right here, the plus button, and then do create new profile. And then you can add in a name right here. For example, I'm gonna go over here and type in Steven and then hit create. You can also check in that person right there. You can, or you can just add them to a list. And then what we can do is we can find that person's name on this list and then we can like we can check in Steven as well. So we can always go over here. We can find it in the profiles right here and we can check in Steven as well. Yeah, so simple as that. Now, if you wanna do checkouts, what you'll do is you'll go over to the list actions and list details. And if you set this up, initially asked you when you create a list if you wanna do checkouts as well. Now, in our case, we only did check-ins only. I'll set this to checkout as well. And then you wanna enter the list again. So art class 29th. And then what will happen is that for the people who are already checked in, you're gonna see the checkout button right here. You click on that, it will turn gray and it'll tell you how much time has elapsed between the check-in and checkout. And the same thing with them as the check-in date, you can go into the checkout date and you can change that. You can adjust the time as well if you change the checkout. And if you click on it again, you can do checkouts. And then the same thing on the iPhone, we just don't have that checkout button. But if you click on it again, we can do the checkouts. So yeah, that was pretty simple. So that's how you do check-ins and checkouts on the iPhone app, on the behind the desk mode as an administrator.